Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Ellen Kareem Trent. Today we're going to turn a splotch into a fashion forward statement um, with our colors and paints and some gold liquid uh, paint. Let's get started. Okay, so first we'll start with making our big old blotch. And I have a six by nine inch piece of B watercolor, 100% cotton. Uh, 140 pound paper. I've got my palette over here. I'm going to be using those same brights, the pinks, the lizard crimson that I used in my last video, which is that mini art uh, floral tutorial. And I've got some blues and greens if I want to add those in. But let's let's just start off with the splotch. So I'm going to just get one of my big brushes. Let's see. I have a Neptune 12 Princeton brush. Grab some water on that brush. Get this blob wet. Real big, nice, wet, kind of blotchy blob. Like so. This is so easy and fun. And a fun exercise to do when you can't figure out what else to do. So then grab some of your pink or whatever color you want. You don't have to use pink. It could be blue, purple, yellow, whatever. Just go in there. Oh, and I'm going to grab some of the... Um, Wild Rose, P.H. Martin. Put that in this pink here. Let's get this really bright. Add a little more crimson to it. All right, look at that. Get that. We're just gonna move that splotch. Water it down. You can add, you know, if you wanna add a little purple. So it's kinda of like fuchsia at the end. Just splotch it out. Move the color around. If you want to take some color, watch, I'm taking some color away. I'll take my paper towel, dab it. Move in the splotch. Could be bigger, smaller. So that's kind of what the splotch will look like. And from here, this is such an easy thing to do. <laughs> I'm giddy because it's fun. I know it should be fun. Go in and add some of this violet I have up here. Grab some of my other palette over here. Splotch it in there. Look at that. See that? Moving my light out this way. I know it's shiny. My non shiny lights, I'm still working on getting that room ready for that. So, you don't really need to worry about the details of this blotch. You just keep adding color and not adding color. Add some deeper reds up here. If you want to go in and add some gold, I have this great gold that you see me use in many of my tutorials. It's this acrylic ink by Liquitex. I might even just put a dropper in. Look at that. Play around with that. Now it doesn't look good like that, so I might just take it from here and just watch it around. And move it around. Play around with it. I mean, get your splotch the way you like your splotch to be. Now it muddied that up a little bit, so I'm going to take the brush, mop it up, and go back and in some color. Woohoo! Bright red. Splotch. I'm just going to go up here and add the part that would be the dress, which is basically pushing up the paint into like a rectangle with a point. And then I'm going to add in some deeper color. Maybe some indigo. With the crimson. Just 
Just keep playing around with the splotch. So it's kind of poofy right now, but it doesn't really matter. All right, so we're going to let this little splotch dry, and we're going to come back in and do the rest. Okay, so while the dress, is, the dress blotchy part is drying, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to draw the silhouette of the girl. So here's the dress blotchy part that you saw. And we're just going to do a line that's down and curving, down and curving, and there'll be arm if you want to put gloves on her. Here's her face, lips, eye, ear with an earring, and you know the hair can be whatever you want it to be. It can be a, a puffy bouffant, it could be short, you could put a necklace on her, whatever you like. So I hope that was good. So let's get to the part of the girl. Okay, so I took the liberty of sketching in that same sketch that I showed you how to do. Um, you can either keep her hair white or make it a color. I think I'll do like a light brown in her hair, like so. And I'm using a Princeton number eight Neptune series. Just fill it in like this, just a light brown, nothing too harsh. While I still have this brush, I'm going to go in and make, you know, you don't have to make a color of flesh if you want to. Um, flesh is easy, it's just, you know, a pale mixture of yellow, a little red, a little white, a little pink. Basically, like an orange. You just water it down. Try to make the color right here. Or it could be just like pale pink. And you don't have to use the whole color in here. I'm just getting it really wet because I want just a fainted little bit. Don't really want to have much paint on there at all. That's a little splotch for my paint, which is fine. I might just leave it there. I don't even care. So I'm just going to faintly put some color in here. Let that dry. I can go in and do the necklace. If I want to do necklace, I might make it very pink. Oops. A little too much paint. Here's a necklace. Get some concentrated crimson for her lips. Using the point of this brush. I mean, if you have a small brush, you might have more control. I'm going to grab some Payne's gray or black. Excuse me. And just do her eyes. It's just a couple of lines in the circle. And it's just the eyelash on this one. And then an eyebrow. I know this can just be kind of like two dots. See that? And you can use the same tip and just do her earlobe. Just do light lines to indicate her body. Just simple like that. And for the hair.
Let's go like that. Try to make a curved hair piece. <laughs> you get the idea. There she is. Give me a little pitter patter of my golden doodle. Where do you have to get down? <laughs> I'm sorry. He just wants attention. Okay. And now I'm going to put a little bit of pink on her cheek. Really faint. Give her some blush. I'm going to do a flush over here in the ear, and I'm going to put an earring in her ear. Put some darker pink on the necklace. There you go. Now, a dress. We can add some flowers to this, make it a little fun. So I'm going to go in and grab my brush. Let's zoom this out better so you can see. I've shown many tutorials on flowers, but you can just put some fun flowers in here. You can fill in simple petals like this. You can take the brush and do more outline type of flowers for variety. You can see that outline. Smaller little teeny flowers. Obviously they had to be darker than the color that it's on there right now. For the belt, I might just do this gold here like I showed you before. Clean up my brush. It's really thick kind of gold paint. Go on top. So she has like a gold belt. You might have to do a couple of, you know, swipes of color on top of each other because it's kind of translucent. And bring the belt down like so. Or you could use acrylic paint, a gouache. You can even do details up here. Gold, just little dots. So it has a shimmer to it. Do gold with the flowers. You know, you can just play around with it. There's so many things you can do. You can add, I'm going to take this uh, Grumbecker number two brush. Got some of that violet paint that I, violet, oh, not violent. <laughs> Losing it. Um, make those lined flowers. As you see here, like a fuchsia. I'm going to change it up from petals to just outline of flowers. I'm just giving it a variety. Do whatever you want. You can put more um, splotches in here. This brush is a uh, Grand Bracket 10, has a rounder tip. Grabbing a lighter pink than the other one I used. You can just play around with this. If you didn't want to do flowers, you could just put more splotches in. Just change it up. Just giving you an idea of what to do, and then you take it to how you want it to look. You have fun with it. See, so add some purple fuchsia flowers. Just play around with this. It's a lot of fun. Just leave the flowers at top there if you want. That's pretty much it. I mean, it's just a really simple, straightforward turn that splotch into a fashion statement. It could be for the Oscars, the Golden Globes, 
which were just on recently. Not too much fun color I saw at the Globes this year. Hmm. Didn't think it was the greatest Globe year for fashion, in my opinion. And just fill in this with violet or crimson, like so. Oops, it's a little dark. So I can just take it off my brush. Oops, go back in, add the brighter color. It was getting too muddy. You can go in and splotch it. Take this color and, you know, hit it. Give it some fun. But this is just a fun, fun exercise. And it would be a great card or um, decor for a girlfriend, for her birthday, someone from Valentine's Day, you know, something simple like that. Um, I just think you can have a really good time with it and you can make it your own by doing whatever you want in the middle. But I just wanted to give you this fun little idea exercise for today. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If so, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. I hope you have a fabulous day. Oh, and also, before I go, if you wanted to write some wording up here, like, you know, you're my best friend or love, whatever, that's another idea. Anyway, have a great day. I'll talk to you later. Bye.